Hello everyone, this is my top RC Hobby P51D Mustang 450mm uh, that I've upgraded to 2S power and a brushless motor and speed controller. Uh, and to be able to do that, I've had to take out the original receiver and put in a crossover receiver that I ordered from China uh, and I'll add links in the description to, to that they're, they're available in all the main 2.4 gigahertz protocols uh, and they come either with servos on or not uh, I'll put some pictures up shortly of, of that actually I can actually open this up actually Bit, I've stuck it down extra with double sided tape so it's a bit of extra to get it open right there we go so in there is the crossover receiver and you can see I've crossed over the control push rods I've had to do that so I haven't got a computer at the moment to be able to swap those over which you can do if you plug it into a computer I've got the little dongle to do that but I uh, don't have a computer at the moment so just for now I've crossed them over, it works fine. Uh, it's got a, a wind combating gyro on it, not self leveling but uh, wind combating and there's off, uh, default settings are off, 45% uh, and 65% and in the programming you can change that. And then here I've got a, a 12 amp ESC and that's for 1 or 2 S and then at the front, that's a Ecomax 14.4 3700kV motor, and this is a, a Gemfan uh, 5030 prop. That's the original nose cone. If you buy the E-Fly prop adapter for the 1.5mm uh, motor main stud, uh, then you, it, this screw is actually exactly the same. You can just screw your original prop adapter on if anyone's updating any of these, which is the Volantex or the E-Sheen. Any of these, you can actually you can keep your original prop uh, hub, uh, sorry, prop cone on there, the nose. And uh, so I'll just pop that back on. Uh, you can see that it's all working as it should. Uh, elevator. Would I have to be careful because it will go if I'm not if I push it up a little, a little bit. Would I work in there? And uh, ailerons, and elevator. And I'll just give it a little rev. But I'm going to put a video up of a before and after. In this video, I'll put a, a before and after a thrust test that I did with it. And originally, with this little brushed motor and reduction drive it had 62 grams of thrust now it's got 160 grams of thrust uh, this is the original 1s battery that normally goes in them that weighs 10 grams and this is the new 2s battery that goes in it um, that's 400 milliamp hours standard these this is these are 300 milliamp hours um, obviously there's two of them so it's heavier this is 16 grams luckily for me in the nose of this craft there's two three gram weights so in the battery compartment itself the weight hasn't changed but obviously the motor is a little heavier it's got the ESC in there which adds uh, five grams I think and then but this is this is actually the, the one that's in it is lighter than this by about five grams so it's ended up being um, 93 grams instead of 84.5 but then i've had to add one of those three gram weights to the tail which i think is enough feels like it balances like it did before um uh, so it weighs now 96 grams and with a thrust of 160 grams that makes it 1.7 to 1 thrust to weight ratio as it is should I choose to buy some better batteries, about the same size, same weight, 
with a higher C rating than these. These are 45C, which means you can take 45 times their capacity, which in this case works out to be in about 13 amps. The controller in this is 12, so I'm not taking more than I should. But you can buy some batteries just like this, and they're 80C to 160C, which means I could change the speed controller to a 20 amp one. And then it would be uh, back to over 200 grams of thrust, like in, like you're going to see in the thrust test video, where it's where the battery's only running a servo tester and the motor, as opposed to the thrust test when it's in the plane, uh, and obviously it's running then the receiver from the 5 volt BEC system, uh, which is, is and that. Coupled with the body being in the way, uh, not all the prop being exposed um, in the plane, that's taken kind of 60 grams of thrust away from it, because in the test it was over 220, now it's 160, 170 uh, thrust, which is fine, because that's pretty powerful anyway. Right, so, let's go, I'll give this a little run up. A cool run up. sounds it seems like both my tablet recording the sound and this camera that's on my head don't record the sound that well anyway that's about it for that I'm going to put some pictures up now of it all cut apart and how I mounted the motor and stuff and, um, and that's about it I think oh no one thing I should add this little module on here I don't know if you can see it I bought that from a little company called Bauer Electronics in Canada. Now, what that do this is this what that does is turns the brushed motor signal from this into a brushless signal. And ordinarily, this this was designed for the Volantex Esheen receiver bricks that work on the seven V seven six one two point four gigahertz protocol. I thought I could identify the right chip and it'd work with this V761 2.4 GHz protocol that's made by obviously top RC hobby. I was wrong, it doesn't work for this, which is why I've had to put a whole new receiver in it, but it does work for Echeen and Volantex models. So if you've got this small Echeen Volantex models, you can buy this module, as long as you can do a little bit of tiny soldering, you can actually wire this up and run a brushless motor with the original receiver in and its gyro capabilities etc uh, it just unfortunately didn't work for mine right so i'll put some pictures up now uh, of